and we're here back with our French Le Ponce's campaign where we are taking on the Don Austrians and in a crisis for the Polish independence again or Polish land that should be rightfully theirs um basically we join their side and we're gonna see who really really that is the only person that wants to join this crisis are you kidding me are you kidding me are you stupidly kidding me what is with okay UK, you've been at this stupid uh, attack and colonization thing for years now. Have you guys not, like, finished these guys off at all? Like, seriously? I, I mean, look at this. You just need two regions, and you guys have not done that. How is it that hard? I'm, I'm sorry, people. Because, <laughs> you know, by now I would have expected my ally, the UK, to be a little bit more smart than that. I mean, they could easily finish off Hernandez at any point in time, but they don't want to, and... Now I'm going to have to deal with quarantine the affected state. Now I'm going to have to deal with an unfair battle because, of course, Russia... Yeah, Russia's going to join that side. And... Uh, I can't... And if you guys are wondering, I can't deal with both armies. Um, they have 118 people right there. Russia has 292 people right there. Both of them combined actually equal more than me. So I won't be able to fight against them, which makes me so angry... But yet, I can't do anything about it. So, you know what? When they offer me peace, I'm going to have to say yes to it. But it's really... You know what I'll do? You know what I'll do instead is that once I have an opportunity, I'm just going to like... I'm just going to like get a gigantic war goal saying I'll free all... Yep. Yep, and I lost some prestige for that. But I couldn't do anything. There's just no way I could win against the Austrian menace. I just could not. It's just, it's just not. If Russia and Austria keep uniting like this, I will not be able to get anywhere in my goals. But. So, let Tomps, everyone. Oh, and I figured out last week, or at least it took about, let's see, uh, 26 or 27 episodes, depending on how I cut this. It took 26 or 27 episodes for somebody to tell me that let Tomps means times the times and it does not mean the newspaper so for that person that actually told me i give you props and for the rest of people that just like ignore this stupid fact well thank you you helped improve my french a lot and we have the internal olympic committee which i don't know why i don't think i was invited to that which just kind of st stinks because the olympic committee is a pretty awesome like thing and lots of factories are collapsing I don't really like give up. Yeah. <laughs> that's all that's kinda how I'm feeling right now. I'm kinda I'm I'm still kind of angry that I still can't like like do anything. I'm like kinda cornered as a dog. And some more we forms that we can do. No. No one really wants good minimum wage. 14 hour days, safety regulations, low subsidized. Somebody people some people want that good pensions. You know what? Good pensions. Let's give them all good pensions. There we go. And that might actually decorate our economy, but we should, we're actually probably the most growing nation out of anyone. Because we like get, we get so much people. And oh, another thing, another thing I kind of realized while I was just messing around with myself is, I always kind of thought that 22 million point zero five million was always a little bit too less of a population for like the total D of France. I was always like, dude, that, this game, Victoria 2 is probably my favorite game out of all the strategic games. Yes, it is, by the way. Um, but it doesn't have realistic population. I always felt like that was a problem in this game. But when I scrolled over the population one day, I realized that this is only the ma our adult male population. And our total population is 88.2 million. Which, when I was like that, I was like, oh, that makes sense. That makes sense now. And, you know, it just kind of like, I don't know, hit me, I guess, a little bit. That something like that could actually happen, but I don't really know. Okay, just do that. Just do that. We actually have some people in Panama. Which, speaking of which, how is our Panama region doing? How are we going towards a state for you guys? Huh? You guys are actually going pretty good hardcore state. And over here in Italy, I think it's finally time for our Italian brethren to unite, uh, unite with us again against any kind of threats that may pop up in the future. So add the sphere... Yes, Italy, you are now within our grasp. Okay. And, ah, uh, Austria. 
Austria has completely angered me, and I don't know how to get him back for it, because I really... See, if I was going to go to war with them, I would need the UK, the United States, Italy, and basically everyone else to go with me in on this, to, like, go fight against both the Russians and the Austrians. This would not be just a gun-ho kind of style. And, uh, how much would it cost to, like, just fight liberate countries? Yeah, we could probably go bankrupt if I do that now. Um, I'm just gonna have to hope that, um, I'm just gonna have to hope that they just do something like collapse, that might help, and we are starting to lower the rebel problem in Ethiopia, we finally gained control over that region, which is good, because I think that was the only region that really hated my rule, the rest of them were just kind of like, yeah, we love France, I mean, honestly, I'm probably one of the most free states, Kalama, Champage, we can give them a little bit of freedom. Yeah, but like I was saying, I'm probably one of the most freest states ever. Because I have just so many reforms I've done. Forcibly, actually. Because I didn't want rebellions in my country. And, ah, I hate you. Okay, how are they doing on independence again? Okay, it seems like there's all these flashpoint tensions with Poland. Poland definitely does not, definitely wants to be free. Um, seems like I could get a lot of socialists. No, I really don't want any socialists. Socialism should die in my country. And Persia? I'm slowly starting to grasp the po Persia from, <laughs> from the, uh, uh, what is it called? Russian grip? That's only because I'm, like, I'm just trying to get them away from, like, my Romanian allies. Who actually should have been mine. I didn't even realize they got ripped out of my sphere. Yeah, it seems like they're definitely still fighting me there, but they're gonna soon quit. I guarantee it. Okay. And it seems like Poland seems like the one that wants to become the most independent. I hope they just do a goal of free everyone, free every single one of their, like, states. Because it makes no sense if they're just going to free, like, a little bit. And more of my factories keep collapsing. That's always a good sign. But, you know what? Okay, there it is. There was the membership in the Inter International Olympic Committee. So, the combination of renewed interest in ancient Greek civilizations and the idea of a sports as an important part of social development has led a French aristocrat, Pierre Bier de Copan, to propose relieving the Olympic Games as a way to promote internal peace through friendly athletic competition between nations. Should nations join his Eternal Olympic Committee to organize the first games? Of course. That actually got us up a little bit more of our prestige back. And, ah, uh, that prestige! It actually dropped us like a whole entire level. Okay. While we're here, I can't forget this. Um, How many men can we build in America? No, in our own home states. Really not that much. So, I can build so many in Africa right now. So many in Africa. Well, hmm. You know, I'll just start going to special recruitment. Okay. Let's go right here in Alice. Hmm. See, I don't really need... I don't... I don't really have much need to get... Oh my goodness, these guys are like oversaturated with no soldiers. Um, hmm. Korea? Korea would not... Actually, Korea would be a really good place if I really wanted to fight Asia. Hmm. Hmm. I'm um, actually, I do need at least one soldier right here. So let's build an army of one. Build one soldier right there. That way I can have... Let's build a horseman. That way I can have at least a couple soldiers guarding my French Asia camp. French Asia colonies. Ah, oh, man. I need more water. Hmm. There we go. I'm so angry! I really want to go beat up Austria, but I can't. I can't while this is while they these two have an alliance because ah, uh, the UK is such a shady. Yazasa is now a core mine. Long live France. Okay, UK is just such a shady. Come on, dude. You guys haven't done anything. You guys basically have this. How you? Uh, you know, if I was at war with Hernandez, I would just totally just go in and go finish the job off. I mean, this is ridiculous, honestly. They could totally just finish this off and they don't want to win. There's so many regions that want to be freed right now. It's okay. This is still... We still got a lot of time, James. We still got like 30... Oh, I'm telling you this to me and myself, but... We still got a couple years before we have to completely give up on our... Freeing of everyone. And still! You got... Wow, you... You still have not freed this area from the UK. And it's completely non-UK cores. It's just completely American cores and you guys still haven't freed them. So anyways, how are you guys doing in becoming a state? Let's see. 
base administrative efficiency, state administration efficiency. Um, we have how many? Excellent. How many people here are are at least in that region? Let me look. Or in that region are uh, bureaucrats. Wow, that's a lot of regions that are bureaucrats. Okay, could we convert? Oh wait a minute, Panama is already a colony. I mean, what? Lazy is able to adapt. Wait, 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 wait. Let the jungle sleep. Wait, this is already a colony? What? Oh, yeah, because we did... Oh, shoot, now I feel stupid. I completely forgot why we inherited that. Okay, well then, convert this to a colony. Shoot, I did not know that was actually a colony. Okay. Now, I'm just gonna slowly start converting some of my little tiny states into colonies. Guadalupe. And! Diplomatic mission under siege. News reaches us at Siam that the ruling elites have thrown our ambassador out. What? Okay, Siam, how do we spawn? By Jindo. Gain and add the sphere, declare war on Siam. Um, call in allies, gain a cut down on Siam, or just let them go. Lose Tony prestige in the process. Let me see. Um, how? Let's see, who are the allies? Um, hmm. See, I don't... Do I have any army over here? Damn. Okay. Can't really do much. Yeah. There's... If you guys are wondering, there's no point. That was a pointless war. Man, am I dropping my... my ah! Prestige, I hate that. I hate the prestige. I hate the prestige loss we've gained over, like, the years. I mean... The French are now not respected. It, it's kind of ironic. We used to be like the nation that beefed up itself for our prestige and stuff. And was not very good. But now we're the nation that like has one of the greatest armies in the world. But yet get no credit for it. It's like, ah, uh, It stinks. This is like such a reversal. And I'm going to have to wait for... You know what I should... I, you know what I'm going to start encouraging in my own country? I'm going to start encouraging soldiers to start joining the army. Because... You know what, we need to start building up bigger armies around my own place. And Paris is actually a good place because it has like a lot of people. A lot of people. And let's see, does that help at all? Recruitment. Recruitment. Yes, because he goes bankrupt. Okay. Let me just combine. Ah, no! No, not... Siam, what the heck?! Okay, no, heck no. You guys, I gave you guys a free reign the first time, not a second time. You guys get free reign the first time, not the second time. That That's seriously just bull. Uh, well, it's not bull, but it's something. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Hello, everyone! And, oh shoot, this was way too close. Uh, shoot, this is way too close. Okay, there we go. We're back here in this episode, where, last episode, apparently Siam is being just complete and other jerks. They just could not just live with the fact that they should just leave me alone. No. They just kept pushing my buttons and pushing them to the point where I just said, You know what, Pruitt? We're going to go after you, Siam. Because basically what they did was... Or these little Asian states that think they could get away with it. They think that they could get away with keep like pushing my buttons without me going in and go saying, You know what, Pruitt? I'm going to spear you guys into my nation. You know what? You guys just basically blew it. And I just realized that it was Siam that's been doing all this thing, not Denam. And I'm sorry, Denam, for blaming you. I'm so sorry, Denam, but seriously. Th this was just... This has made me mad. I mean, these guys have just basically just put... Has basically just tried to be their independent little selves and think, Hey, yeah, we could totally, like, you know, boss around France. France won't mind. You know what? I could take you guys all on. I can take you guys all on any day. Your army has nothing compared to mine. You guys may be independent, but I bet you guys aren't that advanced. Okay? And you know I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna teach you guys who the heck the, your boss is. And apparently a new crisis for Slunenstein has just been announced. And what is it? It seems like it's Poland's... A Polish independence. And for once, it seems like Germans have actually backed this. And... How are we doing over here? As I said, I'm just crushing the 
the biggest army they have. I'm crushing it to pieces. We're not showing any mercy at this point. Because I... This, this, this was just... <sighs> Get my Asian army that I have conveniently over here. You know, I've officially decided maybe I should beef up my colonies over here. Because these seem to be, like, needing more and more uh, guidance. These places seem to be needing more and more guidance. Okay, you guys just go in and go kick these guys' butts. Okay, more administration efficiency. Uh, let's get some more technology output. Okay, you guys go right here. Crush them. They seem to learn to adapt. Crush these stupid men. Okay, we got these guys. Go right here in the Kuranta Bantu. Okay. Now we got that done with. Go right here. Pick up some men. Yeah, you guys, you two men can stay down there. I'm going to go send you guys, though. Go right here. And you guys go right there. That way we have a good stable front to where they can't just maneuver out of the way. <sighs> okay. So, everyone, this was a complete shock to me. I did not expect this nation to declare war on me. And how is the eternal crisis going? I don't know. Well... It seems like they completely and utterly hate. Seems like the Germans are probably going to give up on the uh, Poland independence, but dang. So Germany might actually be an ally in most of this. And dang it, I'm still trying to free Romania up. It's not working. It's not working. Okay, oh, whoops. Just had a little bit of problem there. My computer went a little bit like bling. Okay, you guys move up here. Actually, you know what? You guys, actually, I want you guys to go on a special mission. We'll go take the capital. Dang idiots, long live France and Balboa. Okay, you guys, go right here, we're gonna go take over Bangladesh, or Bangkok. Bangkok. I haven't heard that name in a very long time. That's all I gotta say. Fine, yep, yep, the crisis is over because I was not in it. If I was in it, maybe this would have been a little bit different story, but... These little states, they keep pushing my buttons and they would not... They seriously would not just give up, they just want to say... Hey, let's see how far we can push friends. Ha 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 ha. You know what? You push me. Now look what happens. Okay. That's where we must aid the companies through rough times. Yeah, we should. That's that's like no brainer. You should like try to support the companies that are starting to like fail. And my army is slowly starting to grow back up again. Um, I'm gonna build a couple. Is there anything I can build in my main state again? Or am I still over? Or is still not no soldiers being built? Seems like two European soldiers are starting to pop up a little bit, but it's still not quick enough to what I want. So what I might start doing is start doing a manufacturing production in um, Korea, and just start producing all my soldiers from there. And factory output efficiency, we got some of that. History, history efficiency, because we want all second tier technologies. Small arms factory game built. Ah, you idiots. Okay. And once that's done, go right here, crush their other... They only produce men in these states, and I think I'm pretty sure I can get all these. And, yeah. So, besides that, I was doing pretty good before this point. Before we had some little tiny Asian nations, or Southeastern Asians, try to think they were big and stuff, and think that I would not notice that you they were trying to, uh, con me a little bit. Okay. And... I can't even build like, hmm, let's build some cheap armies then in Asia, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, okay. One, two, three, four. And then I need like three cannons. There we go. Okay, so I'll be the new Asian army. Or, I mean, I, I, I mean the, uh, Korean army. The Korean army. Okay, you guys move right here. You guys have conquered that. Let's keep going. Just, it's, it, it baffles me how stupid these guys are. I'm thinking that I would not respond to this, like, obvious, ungrateful state. And how are we doing over here and freeing ourselves? Hmm. Not quite ready to become a colonial province, but it seems like these guys finally want peace, add a sphere of influence, fine. <sighs> there we go. And you know what? 
I'm going to keep all my men right here just in case we have another problem like that. And, you know what, I'm going to try to keep these guys. So I'm going to, oh, I actually was influencing them slightly. Oh, that's what happened. They were part of my sphere of influence and then they tried to break away. Oh, I see now what happened. That was just, okay, reopen everything, unsubsidize anything, because I do not subsidize any factories, and uh, intervene immediately, and I'm just going to take it easy for now, and just wait for the next crisis to develop. It seems like, it seems like the Polish are definitely pushing towards independence, I'm just not sure they'll be able to do it. Like, unless, seriously, the Germans and I unite, which Germany actually likes us a lot more now, which is really weird. You know what? You know what? I'll, I'll, I'll foster this relationship. This is not a bad relationship we have here. Um, Germany, with you and me at the helm, we could probably go in and go take everything. And you know what? We have actually a lot of money, so I can actually go decrease the, the taxes by 5%. 5% on everyone. There we go. We have like 50% taxes on everyone. And now everyone's starting to make a good amount of money. But for Egypt, it looks like a big, gigantic, weird conglomeration state. It has like its stuff up here and it has its stuff down here. And I have almost like tech through almost all the technologies. Um, do I want social science? Um, colonial migration. Um, do I want my people to join the clon colonies? Not really. So let's get the revolutions and counter revolutions. That way, maybe we can stop some of this uh, rebellion problems from growing. Yeah, because we have like 1.6. Ah, the Ethiopians are kind of growing, but the French communists are just like, Yeah, we're communists, we want to keep growing, yeah! Yeah, no. I've had enough of that. I've had enough of just... Of Austria, really. <laughs> yes, I've, I'm still kind of like on that right now. My head's still like spinning about it. Because now, they basically proven that they want to they wanna push me. They want to push my nation and push its own political views onto me. And you know what? I'm basically, I'm almost like saying, I'm putting my foot down and saying, I've had enough. And, you know, the next crisis that happens, I'm, I'm pretty sure my army's now beef enough. Okay, I just found rubber. That's good. How unfortunate. I think my army, but like I was saying... I think my army's now beef enough with all its rebalancing and stuff to go in and go kick their butts. Wait, I need one soldier to be at Paris just in case if rebellions start to form. But yeah, and it seems like I'm can four or five. I'm just trying to make sure that I lower the taxes. My ultimate goal for taxes is probably like 25% taxes or below 50%. That just like took an ultimate hit. Um, political meetings, alright, dang it, we give up when we have, when they already have freedom, it's kind of hard, like, to say no, you can't not have any more freedom, that's really hard, okay, just open, okay, um, what should we do now, hmm, okay, how are we doing on extending these, we did extend these naval bases, because, you know, in a couple turns, I'll be actually using them to, um, What's the word? Build more ships! That's the words. Yes, and how can I not remember build more ships? That makes me feel kind of like an idiot, but... Um, we have to extend all these in the main LaFrance area. Okay. And on Bordeaux? Cosbelli and Sweden. Sweden's my friend, so they're not gonna... I'm not gonna do anything to them. Okay. And in Tunis, I have a big gigantic port. Okay. And yeah. Why are we extending all this? Like I said, oh, we're here too. We need to start, like, preparing for when Dreadnoughts come out. Because we're going to have to build so many of them. Catch up with our, like, ship score to, like, catch up to everyone else. Because, I mean, we have a lot of ships. Or, I mean, we could build potentially a lot of ships. It's just, I don't have the willingness or, like, the, uh, interest to build a lot of ships. So, that's one of the reasons why we don't build a lot of ships. And she's like, we do some more reforms. And right now, France is really open to them. Uh, 14, 2.6, 3.1. Oh, oh my goodness, really? 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 Oh my goodness. <laughs> you guys you guys are being so unfair with this. I'm not... Okay, low subsidize. I'll give you guys low subsidize. And then up subsidize everything. <laughs> yeah, 
not, I'm not giving you guys those upsides. Are you kidding me? I'll bankrupt my country. Okay, let's open all the factories though. Giving, I'm giving all factories a fair bet right now, but I'm still getting mad at him at the same time. Okay, how long has this episode been going on for? Well, we had the war. Oh shoot. Well, it at least seems to be able to handle that problem, but I'm trying to think. Mm, no, we don't quite end it yet. We're not quite ending it yet. Hmm. But dang. I can't believe we still got alliance with both the United States and the UK. That seems like almost unfair. And we just got diplomatic just got diplomatic relations. Um, what else do we need? I'll get Pyosis status or whatever this is. So I make sure that my troops, my reserve troops are the best. And I have another national focus, which what do I want to be focusing on? Hmm. You know, there really isn't that much else I really want to be focusing on unless I really want to like make some of this stuff over here colonies, which I mean, uh, not colonies, but actual uh, French provinces, which, you know, I might as well take a look at where would be the most likely for this. Because, you know, it's not a complete bad idea to, like, turn your colonies into actual places. It's just, it's kind of like, it just never happens. Except for over here where I just got lucky. Ah, uh, yeah, and I guess I just got lucky. Alright, where else? Um, did that right there, did that right there. That right there. Yeah, it doesn't really seem like there'd be really any other place I'd really want to. So, you know what? Let's just encourage. Hmm. Seems like we're having some really, really tense relationships over here. So, let's encourage our bureaucratic markets over here in these places to like help the uh, Belgians basically uh, realize our great and wondrous control over their nation. There. Oh, and is there any crisis that would be set off right now? Ugh, okay. I'm almost thinking I should wait on that crisis, seriously. And there's a reason why. Like, if they ask this crisis, crisis I think I'll wait for this crisis, because, um... What is this fast for tensions? Poland, Lithuania, Unification Movement. And that's a really bad movement. But, I think I should wait, because what I'm gonna do is... My infamy is almost down. So that means that, no, no, rock me in my cradle, just give me that, so you can do more prestige. Um, the reason why is because of, um, ah, oh, man, oh, shoot, in 1980-96, Kalonfa discovered Evans pointing to Major as having been the true author of the Bordeaux that Joe has been convicted for having written, but in the course of the Major was acquitted in minutes. In an open letter to the French president, Arsene accused the judges who acquitted of having been ordered. Oh, shoot. Um, it was found that much evidence of coin has been. Oh, dang it. Well, that's just like. Uh, dang. That just made me feel bad. That just made me feel bad. I just. I sent an innocent guy to the gallows, basically. And. We have another Polish independence front. Of course, I'll be joining this crisis. Oh, good. We should outfit an expedition, but oh good, we actually have some more people than just Russia in this war. Which actually... Oh, I was about to say, they, they actually look like they have more of me in mind. Well, let's see, UK looks like they'll probably join me. What? What? Really? Ah. Okay, Germany, for once, I'm gonna have to say this, acquire call of Sennenstein. Nope, they don't really like that, so let me see if I can beef up my borders a little bit with them. Okay, with the UK, I can't believe I, I can't believe the UK is just like gonna turn their back on me. UK, you better not. We've had good relationships up to now. We don't need you guys to do whatever you guys are gonna think about doing. What about you guys? You guys still love. You guys hate me, but yet you guys I think will join me in the end. Okay. Oh man, this is actually pretty tense. Okay, Germany, we have had harsh times. In fact, I think you hate me in a in a very good sense. But seriously, do not turn your back on me. Seriously, do not. Do not, Germany. Do not. I, I propose this right now. Do not turn your back on me. Like, seriously, do not turn your back on me. Um, I, I don't know why you guys would not want this. Like, seriously, I don't know how you guys would not want that, like, core back. 
but hmm. Anything I could do that could beef up my relationships with these guys. Oh, dang. Oh man, this is really close. Because right now. Uh, okay, political considerations. Oh man. Yeah, we're gonna have to be fighting these guys heavy. Okay. Increase one more. Because the Germans, if they were on our side, could potentially. With both Germany, because like I said, I'm a little bit, I'm really scared and cautious of the fact of a Russian-Austrian alliance. But with the Germany, with Germany on my side and their like usually really unfairly balanced military, I should be able to deal with them. Oh, but this is this is like really tense. Um, so if I don't fail, if I don't get Germany on my side, I don't think I will be able to win this. This this would definitely be way too big of a war for me. Okay, ah uh, dang, this is like really close too. Uh, give him full citizenship. Um, I might be caring what the reforms are doing in the background on my elections. This is like, this is like more important. If we don't get this, then this could potentially spell the end of me being dominant. Or my dominance, okay, help the poor. I believe, I believe in supporting businesses. I mean, this is a free democracy. Okay. Okay, how close are we right now still? Ooh, this is like so close. Oh no! No! Oh no! Oh no. Oh no. Come on, get the diplomatic points up. Get the diplomatic points up. Um, dig deep and greedy. Oh no, this is like so close. Oh no. Come on. Oh no, 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 no. Uh, oh no, we're gonna have to wait. Oh dang. Seems like there's some rebels that also formed in my country. Um, I'll have my other n other people deal with it. it. Seems like Poland, Austria is definitely trying to get me to like rethink my actions and say, "Oh yeah, we don't want you guys to do this. We should try again." I don't really care. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Ah, dang! I have to wait for an entire month. Oh come on, please! I'll keep I'll keep the offers. We'll find out in a second if I can if I can do this. Okay. When does this crisis just completely? Okay, at 75 days. So maybe uh, we have a lot of battles going on. Brilliant, brilliant, whatever. Um, just don't, don't do anything, Jimmy. Don't do anything. Don't do anything. We, we're coming. We're coming to increase relationships with you. A way you guys can act as kind of a. It's also there's also kind of a sentimental reason because. They could act as a buffer zone, and I know that sounds really mean, but they could, and it would not be bad for them to act as a buffer zone for me, an offensive attitude. Okay, 31. Okay, we have just enough. Let's hope the crisis has not... Yes, you still haven't done anything. How... Wait, are we actually still in the running? Yes, we are. Okay, um, you guys, increase relationships right now. 102. That should, tie, that should tip us over. Yes, it tipped us over barely. Um, and we want 30% pro-military. Okay. Okay, now Germany, please, please join my side now. Now that you guys have known which side we're going on, will you guys actually join it? And you know what? I'm actually going to wait until the full amount, until it's time. Oh, man. This also could potentially, if they join my side, that means this is basically World War One, And I know we did have an unofficial World War One, but this is probably going to be the official World War One. Ah, oh, come on, Germany. Oh, dang. Well, seems like it just tied for how much these guys want want this. Okay. Um, Formula Alliance. Own core provinces. Yeah, I do have that. That's not going to help me. Okay. Don't be on the fence. Don't be on the fence. Seriously, Germany. We need you guys not to be on the fence. Laissez faire. This is a long... This is going to be a long episode, I can only tell, but it's going to be well worth it. You guys, I hate you. I hate you. I'm just... I'm going to have to fight this, aren't I? I'm going to have to fight this by myself, aren't I? Tensions dissipate. Well, thank you. That could have helped me.
Yep, everyone disobeyed me. Okay. So everyone, for the next episode, I'll be trying to defend myself against the nations of Austria, Russia, and UK. It's another um, squish event, and I'll see you guys next time.